Boom. What's up, Waves Capital? It's Royce Jacob, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I simply want to talk to you guys about why I've decided to pick up some Coinbase calls for the first time in a few months, quite a while now. And uh, I will give you one simple technical reason and uh, one simple fundamental reason as well. Okay, that's pretty much the entirety of the video, you guys. On top of that, I do also have a little content recommendation for you guys that has to do with the CEO of Coinbase. This also, you know, kind of fuels my fundamental bull argument just because I'm such a big believer in Brian Armstrong. So, um, I mean, there's not much else to say aside from that. You guys can go watch this uh, right now if you want, but uh, you know, I would say stick around for this video and then go watch this right after. Uh, other than that, at the very end of the video, I will give you guys a little bonus take on Riot Blockchain. Uh, why I also bought even more calls on riots following the little correction that we're seeing and uh, you know cherry on top I'll just give you guys my general thoughts on the state of the short-term crypto correction that I'm seeing keyword right there short term and uh, why I think this will pass and why I do think that uh, more new 2023 highs are to come following you know this corrective phase because as we all know Corrections are a healthy part of every bull market cycle, short, medium, and long term. All right, so that's the video, you guys. Um, before we get into Coinbase on the charts, talk about this inverse head and shoulders pattern that's shaping up beautifully. Um, I do want to talk about how I've been trading through this correction. So today, Waves Capital made a bunch of money as the markets absolutely melted. There wasn't a growth stock pretty much on my watch list. Uh, I mean, that's, there's a splash of green on the entirety of my entire watch list. I'll just say much, but we made money today. And that is because we were loaded up with Tesla puts. Okay. So Tesla announced earnings today, or I should say yesterday after hours, the stock reflected the results of this earnings report today and uh, it was down 10%. That said, our put options positions, which was a pretty sizable position in the Waves Capital portfolio, was up over 200% on the day. Okay, and as I said right here, you guys, there's no better feeling in the trading game than using profits from put options to purchase call options while they're down. And uh, that's why, you guys, I always wanna make this very clear, although the far majority of the, of the videos I make are bullish, um, to be completely honest, I don't even like shorting stocks. I don't really like the morality involved with it. Uh, I don't like the idea of it for the most part, but at the end of the day, I'm a trader. My job is to make money for myself, for my loved ones, and you know, hopefully for you guys as well. And uh, you know, that's the reality of it. Sometimes you got to short to make money. And today, I'm proud to say that Waves Capital um, made an amazing trade, shorting Tesla into earnings, and uh, it paid off big time. And I was pumped to buy plenty of Coinbase calls with the proceeds. That's how I'm tying it in here. And uh, once again, Riot calls as well. So if you guys do want my daily newsletters, if you want the complete breakdown of my entire personal portfolio, which I do update every single trading day, along with you know sending out the trade alert newsletters, uh, which you just saw here, uh, I'm sorry, right here, uh, the price targets newsletters, which is right here, where I involve a bunch of charts, include a bunch of charts and real-time price targets, uh, just to prove that, uh, you know, Riot Blockchain, <laughs> you can see here, uh, right before Riot saw the correction over the past two days, uh, I was saying, I'll buy calls at $11, and you guys can see it right there, full transparency, 519 calls. At at eleven dollars today, when we look at Riot right now, Riot is sitting at ten dollars and ninety cents. So we saw it again. That's the reason I bought a lot of a lot of Coinbase and Riot calls today. For just to be completely honest, and um, even though it's always possible we fall further, I'm still glad that I waited for the correction to capitalize on this. And uh, yeah, I'm excited that uh, I got that opportunity to buy Coinbase calls. Like I said right here as well. So. Again, you guys, if you want my daily newsletters, if you want my complete portfolio, it's the first link in the description below. Uh, that'll take you to this page. Choose whichever pricing plan you want. 15 bucks a month, 40 bucks for every three months. You can even try it free for seven days. If you don't like it, you can always just peace out and unsubscribe. But 2023 has been such a good year so far for Waves Capital. The options portfolio is up 
well over 10x. I don't even, I haven't even tracked it to be completely honest, but I know for a fact it's well over 10x in a 2023 alone from where we started the year. And, um, you know, things really <laughs> have been really good. Even today, again, today the portfolio was green, although pretty much every growth stock was in the red. And uh, that's because we once again properly hedged and uh, properly played this volatile market environment. So, get you guys, I take a lot of pride in this and, uh, the cash flow speaks for itself. So first link in the description, once again, if you do join, then welcome to the winning team in advance. But if not, no worries at all. I do appreciate you watching this video. Let's take a look at Coinbase. So first things first, pretty simple. You guys, honestly, like I I'd always have kind of, I, I like to, especially when I want to do right, like these price targets, newsletters and stuff. I like involving almost so you can just look at the chart in front of you and I don't have to elaborate much, but obviously I will. So inverse head and shoulders pattern, the bullish brother or bullish sibling of the head and shoulders pattern. As you guys can see here, the head and shoulders, whether, you know, right side up or upside down, in this case, it is inverse. So it's upside down. You get the shoulder, you get kind of that range trading followed by a big move in either direction. In this case, you know, inverse. So the head is coming down. Uh, you get that nice little cut pattern creating the head shape. And uh, when it becomes a head and shoulders as opposed to a break and trend is when the opposing shoulder mimics the range from the first one. So you guys can see here, these both following this head, which is really, I mean, this is a pretty damn textbook head and shoulders pattern. And like, if you, it's almost like if you Google head and shoulders, this is kind of what could come up. So this in my eyes is a very textbook head and shoulders pattern. Again, pretty clean ranges, pretty clear symmetrical ranges, I should say, on either end of the head, creating two nice, uh, nice clean shoulders. And uh, I do think that this pattern will resolve in the fundamental catalyst that I'm, I'm talking about, which is earnings. So Coinbase is scheduled to announce earnings on May 10th, as you can see right here. I think we can all agree that it's pretty obvious given that the volume and price action that cryptocurrency in general has seen since the beginning of the new year. Uh, I mean, Q1 has been an amazing year for growth stocks and really cryptocurrencies specifically, like even more than growth, more so than growth stocks. Crypto, Bitcoin, Ether has been, Render Token, uh, have been massive standouts in this pretty, I mean, this pretty volatile macro environment. So crypto, again, short-term correction. I, I can't believe that this is anything more than just a short-term correction. I do think we will be making a meaningful comeback as we head into the new month of May. Maybe the next week or so is shaky, but uh, as I've been saying a lot in the newsletters, I do think that uh, the FOMC meetings, let's throw this out, the FOMC meetings that take place on May 2nd to 3rd will probably bring some good news for the bulls, okay? So again, that's just my take right there. Um, Coinbase, inverse head and shoulders pattern in play. My target is $95 plus. That is when I personally plan to begin um, taking profits from my call options position. And um, I do think that uh, the catalyst for that will be earnings on May 10th, okay? If we don't already see it by then. Again, I think we'll really start picking up steam May uh, May 2nd to 3rd, uh, start that meaningful comeback. Yeah, that, will, that we'll see probably in Bitcoin, the S&P, the NASDAQ, really the major indices and major, um, kind of the, just the major tickers in the global financial markets. I do think we'll begin to come back around there. Um, and then that will probably create a little bit of momentum into earnings. Same goes for Riot, to be honest. And um, I do think that earnings will catapult Coinbase up for the reasons that I just explained. Again, you can see analyst estimates are a little higher. Um, still pretty low though. And uh, really Coinbase, what I do like to see here, you can see that their revenue dipped down in Q3 of 2022, but it already started to come back a little bit in uh, Q4 of 2022. So we are seeing that does signify a bottom. And again, there's there's almost zero chance in my mind that revenue came in any lower than it did in Q4 of 2022. So I'm bullish going into this earnings report. I do think that this earnings report will catalyze also because it lines up so perfectly with this inverse head and shoulders pattern. You can see like where this, uh, where we started going or where, I guess the arm line, you could say, um, where the arm line began in this head and shoulders pattern almost perfectly mirrors to you know May 10th or like that early to mid May uh, May area. So I do think that earnings will catalyze a move up. My inverse head and shoulders target, at least 
uh, where I'll begin taking profits is $95. But hey, the real absolute resolution of this inverse head and shoulders pattern would be 115 bucks. And uh, if I'm being honest, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest to see it get there. In the case that Coinbase does, they would have to crush earnings. But hey, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they do, given the volume and given the momentum that cryptocurrencies have seen. So that's the video, you guys. Again, if you want to trade with me on a daily basis, if you want to shark up some calls using put profits with me, um, then that's the first link down below. Once again, I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.